Hello everyone, for today's video I have a Super Saiyan Rose Gohan Black Avatar character build. So you can see right here, these are like the creation settings. It doesn't matter what colour you pick for the default clothing, I, as you can see right here, I left it as the default because we're going to change the outfit anyway. We're going to the moveset quickly, four supers, sudden death beam, divine retribution, aura slide, and I went for atomic blast rather than like shockwave or like another attack that Goku Black, Super Saiyan Rose, Goku Black or Zamasu use because I just think it fits better and it's more interesting than like what I've already said, instant transmission or full power charge or maximum charge, two ultimates like you saw. Super black combat power rose, divine lasso, um transformation car can for the aura. <laughs> okay, I'll get into that in a second. And for my evasive, I went for instant rose rather than a break strike because with instant rose, you do, you know, it does the job. Break strike, depending on what, you know, depending on what attack your partner uses on you, it's not going to fully protect you. But with instant rose, like, there's a bad chance of, do, you know, of it protecting you. So all these fights will be play matches with limitations on because this is a brand new character of level two right now. I think and by the time I finish recording, so level three, maybe level four, I'm not too sure. Like I think it's like level three when I finish recording the fights. So this guy, okay, he's kicking my ass right now. Let's be fair, let's be real. I've got max key and max stamina, but you know, he's, you know, he's you know, taking quite a bit of health off me. I've got the divine lasso here. Big mistake. He breaks my guard. He's an earthling. Well, I say earthling. He's like a Super Saiyan Rose, maybe like a gas mask. Um, Super Saiyan Rose, Psycho Mantis. I don't know. But he's got darkness rush and Super Combat Miha. Thankfully, he got the Super Combat Miha. That was more than enough time for me to avoid it. So that's great. What I mean, what I wanted to do here was before like, the fight really like. Yeah, continued. I wanted to go for Car King, like the normal version, like times one, I guess you call it, because it, yeah, make it more realistic. But I was thinking, well, he's kicking my ass. I should probably forget that and just try and fight. So that's why, you know, because when I use like Super Saiyan Rose Burko Black or you know Rose Gohan Black now, well for this video rather, I want to go for Car King just so you know, creates like the I guess illusion. I'm not too sure. Yeah. So they went for um, Dirty Fireworks, uh, Breakthrough, whatever it's called, and that's actually quite. All the better. Like, I never knew. Like, oh, I mean, I'll be honest. I'm not making an excuse. Like, he beats me now. And um, but the fights throughout this entire video were a bit like. Unless this one guy I fought after I. Well, I'll give this guy a rematch, and after that, I do fight this guy who plays Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. But looking back, I can't. I just can't choke. I mean, I do win in that fight, but I can't choke because it's just like too late. It's not really entertaining, in my opinion. Or at least not for this video. Um. But yeah, I mean, with a break strike, like as long as you activate it, it'll it'll like. I mean, like, fire it, it'll activate even if you get hit. So I thought that's quite interesting. So now I do go for Car King times one, or the normal version. Like, I keep saying times one for some reason. It just, you know, I don't know, I just like saying it. Um, so now I think, okay, now I can actually, like, fight, you know, not, well, I'm not saying that I should pro I should fight properly because, you know, I keep my ass last time. Like, no, last time I keep my ass because he keep my ass. But I went for Car King times one now, so I'm thinking, okay, I can, like, um, you know, uh, use the dash and, you know, stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. I go for times three here to drop out of it because you can't drop out of it if you've got enough key to go from the next stage, which is you know just ridiculous. Like even with Super Saiyan, like that needs to be fixed now. Like, you know, it's three or whatever. So he beat me first. I'm something now. Like I need to really like dig down. So they're going for potential least. I think he's like bursting in the net here. Um, he goes for another darkness rush there. Um, yeah, like, I think he went for potential least. Like. I think it's in this fight or the last fight. Like he dropped out and went back into like a few times, like semi flying back, like with that super saiyan, well, future super saiyan, you know, burst technique I um, sometimes use. So then I went for the stand break, but he vanished, so I'm thinking, like, he could have got me in his own stand break there and maybe go for like a double super come on my heart. I went out of footage lag, yeah, whatever. Um, or maybe like a darkness rush, then a super come on my heart, or vice versa, or like, you know, super come on my heart, then darkness rush. So there he, as you saw, went out of potential leads, then to go back into it. More than likely thinking I would try and rush into him, and of course I was semi flying back. You know, it didn't work though, so there I go for Atomic Blast. It hits him, but I don't think he did hit him. Like, it took damage off him, but I don't think it actually hit him, that makes sense. There goes for what I call Prelude to Destruction, or oh, not Quarters Knights, Finishing Blow. Jeez. Um, so there goes for another Darkness Rush, uh, Finishing Blow, or what it's called, like Finishing Blow, uh, fi not Final Blows, Vegeta, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta's Finishing Blow is Wheezy's, I believe. There goes for the Salsa Blade, Salsa Blade, what do you want to call it? Get a pair of lock up there. That breaks the guard, and now I'm thinking, okay, I can kind of win this now, hopefully. So I immediately go for the super black come out my heart rose because I've only got five bars of key anyway. So if I didn't go for it there, then I might be doing more harm than good than trying to, you know, extend like a basic combo. Because look at this, I've only got five bars of key. I can only go for that. Then like, you know, try and regenerate key that way. Like I could have gone for divine last cell, but I wanted to go for the rose come out my heart because I just think it'll do more damage. Um, 
He goes for another bursting potential lead and goes for Darkness uh, Rush. Or, yeah, I would say Darkness mix up, but not that's like the um, Venus Mold explosive wave, I think. So that break is got to go for the All Star. That finishes him off. We did have a few more fights, but um, I think he picked Hit. I'll get two other fights, but the fights were just extremely lucky, so I'm just going to move on to the next opponent. Uh, again, play match. Everyone must have included. He's at level 50. You know, again, because it's with limitations on. He's running times 100 Big Bang Kamamiha and um, Spirit Sword. And as you'll see in a little bit, and I absolutely love that he did this. It's like, it's amazing. I didn't really think of doing this before, but I may just steal this technique off this guy. Like, it just looks so fun to use, and like, it actually fits with what it is. So he's running Kaoken, and he does something later on that I'm in love with. I really am. It's just phenomenal. Like, it's not really the most efficient, but it just looks so cool. And it really defines what Kyle Ken should have been in Xenoverse. Uh, well, Xenoverse 1 and 2, and pretty much every game. So, there he's always like running um, Salt, not Salt Punisher, uh, Punisher Drive and uh, Sudden Death. So, there I get the nice perfect block off. That's broken his guard. I think I might go for Divine Lasso. Uh, yeah, do I go for the. Um, but, uh, do I? No, I don't. Uh, I go for Divine Retribution. I don't know why I didn't go for Divine. Oh, no, okay. So, I remember now. I went for Divine Retribution, then uh, Divine Lasso to see if I can actually combo into it. And I do, so that's pretty cool. Now he goes for Karken, and just watch, this is just phenomenal. Like, he's in uh, Karken times 20, and he's like just constantly doing like the uh, you know, teleporting, then like going for the aura burst, or dash wall for the helix cord. Typically, that takes one bar of key to uh, one bar of stamina, rather, my bad use. One bar of stamina to use. Like, right now, I was just like watching, because I was like in awe, like, this was just phenomenal. Like, I can't believe I've never thought of this. Again, he was in uh, Karken times 20, so his stamina would have been draining anyway, but. It wouldn't have been draining as he went for like the um, teleport or whatever. So if he had more stamina and used the uh, I've been saving this Kyle Ken Super Soul, that would have you know that may finish. Me. Well, I don't think it would finish me because like, if he just got for the back here, um, that would have like hit hit, you know, hit him or like just like um, step vanish. But I just thought that's just so cool. Like he does the, uh, because of that. I do give him a rematch, but it's just such a cool technique. I believe he does it again in the second fight, and I think I may copy him. I'm not too sure. Um, we did, we did have another fight, but I didn't think it was that, interest, uh, that interesting. Like, this is the first fight. The next fight I'll show will be the third fight I had against this guy. Like, I win. Well, I won the second fight. I'm not going to show. This fight is a bit boring, to be honest. So, yeah. Look, I'm, I'm not sure if I use that in the second fight. I'm not going to show, but that was just so cool. Like, I'm got, I need to steal that. Like, that was just so awesome. Like, oh, man. Uh, going to the fourth and final fight for this video. I believe he's running the same um, preset. Like I think I can't remember what he basically had just, but he's running Mac Dash now. Did a very nice per uh, not perfect block the um, predict there as he vanished, but you know because the connection is just phenomenal, it didn't work. So I'll go for Car Ken then the normal uh, version. Yeah, his guards. Um, he, well, his stamina rather is almost recovered. Right? Now he has recovered. He vanishes there, which I just don't see a point of. I go for the back here or slide. Very nice. Do I go for stamina break in a moment? Now I go for the back here. Uh, go for um, stunning death beam. Very nice. So I was thinking, well, last time he went for um, Karkin times 20 after I broke his stamina. So there I broke his stamina, I dropped out of Karkin, and went for a swing kick, then I got to the ground, I went for a swing kick, so he was sending it flying away, so he'll get max stamina. I was hoping to go for Karkin times 20 again, he does, so I'm thinking now, oh yes! Um, yeah, look, but this is just how you counter it, like, it is quite easy, um, yeah, but it's just so cool, like, I love it. But that's what Karkin should have been in Zenover, like what he said, like, what he's doing right now is like the perfect, like this is like how, how I would define Kalken, like extremely fast. Do, you know, it does a fair amount of damage, but it's quite short as well. Like, like it's, yeah, you know, he's uh, dropped dead of it now. And like, there's that all glitch now, it looks uh, so cool. Oh man, I'm geeking out. Uh, so here I'll go off for the same thing as well. Um, but I'll try to, but then my stamina is broken. So I'll go off for Divine Lasso. Does it hit him? Yes, it does. Uh, no, okay, well, he went for his evasive uh, just right before he locked him into it. He goes for the same thing again, and um, because he's got like no stamina, so he drops out of it just so he doesn't get the um, or just so his guard doesn't break from using Kaki times 20. I go for the stamina break there, that breaks his guard, of course. And I go for the uh, a time blast. Like, I knew this would be the final fight for the video and against this guy, so I, I sent him flying away again there, thinking, please go for Kaki again. Like, but doesn't go for sudden death beam, then goes for time to put you big bang come on my heart. So I break his guard, go for. Atomic Blast, I think, oh no, I thought that actually sent him flying away then, but it just took a second to actually do it, but no. So, I think I've made finish off him, I'm not too sure. No, he's starting to recover now. I think he's starting to panic because, like, when he's vanishing, it's, like, very predictable. And I think I get a nice perfect block off in a moment, which will break his guard. Like, I think he vanishes once more. So here I go for Divine Lasso as he goes for Punish Drive. You know, great counter to I suppose. Um, 
yeah, he got us for Carter and Assault there, I'll go for the back step. I didn't really know he was going to go all through, so that me going for the back step there was just lucky more look, look rather more than anything. So I got for the all start again there, it didn't work. Uh, I think yeah, I think it's in a moment I'll go for the Perry block because the fight's almost over. Yeah, I'll finish here as you know where he goes for the second or third hit of the Kyle Kent assault. So I go for uh, Punisher Drive again, I block it. Almost broke my stamina. I think he's gonna hit me in a moment, does he? I think that's what broke my yeah, right here. He got okay, so he went for the Kyle Kent assault and I perfectly blocked it, that broke his guard. Hit him and I thought I was gonna finish him off with Divine Lasso and I love how it kind of looked like a scythe for like a split second. Like, I never really noticed that until like it slowed the fuck you down because like when you win the fight, it like slows down for like a second. So yeah, again, I mean, if anyone, like the two people I fought in this video, if you're watching this, very good game, especially to the last guy. That was just so much fun. I love how you use Kyle Ken. I'm going to steal that. So thank you guys for watching the video. And with that being said, I'll see you next time. And I leveled up.